There was a dark shadow over free speech at the Democratic and Republican conventions in the summer of 2000. But an embargo on information that is fundamental to your health continues. Did you know you've been eating genetically altered food since 1995? James Birch is a farmer who joined the march and teaching to bring this information to you. I'm an organic farmer and the things that I grow, I grow them because they taste good. And I'm sure you've eaten old varieties of fruits and vegetables and they're always the best tasting. All the heirloom corns, are, I mean, they're just so good. When you walk into a grocery store, the vast majority of products that are processed, soups, cereals, um, cookies, chips, sodas, uh, most of those products on, on grocery store shelves contain genetically engineered ingredients. It's almost impossible to actually know whether or not a food that you purchase at a Safeway or other major market contains genetically engineered ingredients or not. Kellogg's has agreed to go GE-free in Europe, yet they continue to make the same products here in the United States with genetically engineered ingredients. And as we see it, they're basically taking advantage of the fact that there is no labeling system in place in the United States. And that's because there is no FDA requirement to label these foods. Because of a determination under the Bush administration that genetically altered foods and normal foods are substantially equivalent. We don't know the long-term health effects of these products and so we are essentially guinea pigs in a vast um, experiment regarding our food supply. Most consumers would agree that having foreign DNA in a foodstuff in which it has never occurred before and never could occur under normal biological circumstances represents a new additive. FDA has not done any testing, has not required one single mandatory health test. The way that determination came to be made is that an official of Monsanto wrote that as a proposed government regulation, then left his job with Monsanto, took a job with FDA where he was the FDA official who approved that regulation, then he left his job with the FDA and went back to Monsanto where he continues to work till this day. Monsanto, you vulture, stop the monoculture! Monsanto, you vulture, stop the monoculture! It's one of these little plants here will produce enough seed for me to plant uh, an entire two rows of these vegetables. I can grow, uh, you know, 50 plants and produce enough seed to plant an entire acre myself. What Delta Pine Company and what USDA has managed to patent today is a technology called Terminator technology. And what this manages to do is a seed is actually made sterile. That means when you plant a seed, you have the crops. It is infertile. It does not give you the seed for the next harvest. Basically, you are dependent on going back to the corporations to spend lots of money in buying the seeds again. And they don't want me to be able to go over to one of those old heirloom tomatoes that was here before the seed company and be able to cut that tomato open and just remove the seed and replant that seed. I mean, you can go buy a, a five pound bag of corn seed for probably, you know, 90 cents a pound, where if you have to buy one of those super hybrids, you gotta pay $10 a pound for it. It's inexpensive. And, and, and those are the kind of seeds that a lot of the world can afford. Taking control over nature, taking control over our food system, making our farmers dependent on these corporations to go and buy the seeds every year. Now this is a violation of, of, of our basic human rights as we are forcing over a million farmers around the world to have to go and buy seeds every year from the corporations at the same time. It's a very violent act against nature as we are making nature infertile. Does this contain genetically 
modified ingredients. And when that question is on everybody's lips, then we have mobilization and a mass movement. And we have it a mainstream issue. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Taking control of a lake, taking control of a lake, taking control of a lake.